Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. We have predictions of XRP reaching 1000 hours. And so we're going to be going over that in this video, if that is even achievable, right? I mean, Ripple right now trading at 56 cents. Is it even possible for Ripple to reach $1,000, especially in the short term? And so I'm going to be going over that in this video. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. And so I did post some videos last week talking about the bank IDs released for Ripple. And so we have some of the largest banks in the world, right? We have bank IDs that have been identified for China, many different banks there, some of the largest banks in the world for Hong Kong and Philippines. Now, they would not be assigning bank IDs if they were not planning on implementation. And so I definitely think that is something that is coming in the near future. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the chart here for Ripple. We can see this is currently trading at 56 cents, right? I mean, this may look like one of the most boring charts in crypto, right? I mean, we're talking since June of 2022. We have been sitting in this channel here. I mean, Ripple literally has been trading between 30 cents and up to $1 for over two years, right? I mean, so it definitely looks very boring. It looks like a stable coin. However, this could be changing in the near future when they do start implementing some of their technologies. Now, Ripple has some of the best technology out there in the financial world, right? A lot of the technology is outdated. It's very slow. It is expensive. And there's definitely a technology out there that could make improvements. And so if that does exist, why would we not be using it? And so if you're interested, there is links underneath the video to Margex where you can leverage trade XRP. They also have an airdrop going on right now where if you sign up using the link underneath the video and trade using their platform, you can earn up to $5,000 of cash and So definitely make sure to check that out. And so let's go ahead and take a look at the bank IDs here. And so this is on the Ripple documentation. They have bank IDs assigned for China, Hong Kong, and the Philippines. And so if we go ahead and take a look at those here, we can see they have the Agricultural Bank of China, and there has been a bank ID assigned. And so all of these banks here have had bank IDs already assigned, and these are the largest banks in the world, right? I mean, we're talking the Bank Agricultural Bank of China, one of the largest banks in the world here. We also have the China Construction Bank, and then we also have the Industrial and Commercial Bank of China as well, which are the top three largest banks. And so in addition to that, we also have Hong Kong and Philippines here. And so there's other banks on here that are also very large. We have Citibank, we have JP Morgan Bank, we have Bank of China, and then we also have other banks as well. We have Fubon Bank, which has been doing testing with Ripple. And then under Philippines, we also have other familiar banks as well. We have JP Morgan here listed again. We have Bank of America. And so this is definitely something to be paying attention to. This just got listed on here about a week ago with China and Hong Kong. And so I definitely think that this shows that they are starting to make some movement in the space. They're getting ready for implementation. Now they still owe their $125 million fee to the SEC. Now we're still waiting to see if they're going to appeal the case or not. And so that's something that could definitely have a big impact on XRP's price. Now, if they make the payment and the SEC does not appeal, I think we're going to start seeing a lot of implementation for Ripple moving forward. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the upholds XRP $1,000 price prediction, right? I mean, we have XRP trading at 56 cents right now. However, is $1,000 even achievable, right? If we do a comparison with one of the largest cryptocurrencies out there, Bitcoin, trading at $59,000 right now with a market cap of $1.167 trillion. Where Ripple, the market cap is currently around $32 billion. And so if we went ahead and made the market cap of XRP the same as Bitcoin, we'd be at a $20 Ripple price. And so unless Ripple burned a ton of tokens, there is definitely no way that Ripple is going to reach $1,000. Now, I do think that it is possible for Ripple to reach $10 or $15 over the next 10 years, especially if they start implementing into different banks or small businesses. I think they definitely have a very good product out there for looking at the cryptocurrency space. A lot of cryptocurrencies have some use cases. However, they're not focusing on the bigger picture, right? Ripple is very solid. It is very stable. They have an actual business and they have a solution that is a problem in today's world. And that is slow payment transactions. They're expensive. They take a few days. And so they are definitely improving that space. And so let's go ahead and take a look at that here. We can see that how local banks can win the race to support small business payments. And so according to MasterCard's 2023 borderless payments report, 50% are now conducting more international payments, payments than they did in 2021, contributing to over 17 trillion in annual cross border payments. And so international business payments are becoming more and more popular. We're only going to see more and more of this, 
right? I mean, and this is a massive number, $17 trillion in annual cross-border payments. And so we have the outdated global payment system that can complicate business expansion with extended settlement times, high cost, hidden fees, and the lack of transparency, each contributing to crushing operational overhead. And so this is detrimental to small businesses, right? I mean, some of these fees can be 2 to 3%. And so on average, cross-border payment settlement times is three to five business days, which constrain vendor and supplier relationships and disrupt cash flow management, frustrating customers and ultimately leading to lost revenue. This is compounded by a long menu of international payment fees that are tacked on after payment is made and can bring additional costs to around 2 to 3% of the transaction. And so we might start seeing small businesses start utilizing this technology. And then once small businesses start using it and they have success utilizing it, we're going to see mid-sized corporations start using it. And then we might start seeing larger banks jump on board since the technology is proven, right? I mean, it's either jump on board and stay up to date with the technology or you're going to get left behind, right? And so I definitely believe that is something that's going to happen in the financial space here, especially with this technology of the blockchain. We have proof here that bank IDs have already been assigned. We have China and Hong Kong, right? I mean, they are making massive amounts of international payments. And so by utilizing Ripple's technology, they could be saving billions, if not trillions of dollars. And so this is definitely of interest to them. They're paying attention to this. And so I definitely think this is something very bullish for Ripple moving forward. And so if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to hit the like button. And also check out that link underneath the video to Margix if you're interested in the Casper airdrop. And so Margix is one of the simplest platforms to use here. They have an app on your phone as well. And one thing that I do really like about this platform here is that you can actually trade different assets, right? And so they have all these different assets. However, you can choose your own collateral. And so whether you want to use USDT or maybe you want to use Ripple and trade the Bitcoin chart, since Ripple is maybe not moving, maybe you utilize Ripple as your collateral and then you trade um, Bitcoin. Maybe because this chart is more predictable right once we reach the resistance here or support we maybe see a bounce and so margix could be a very powerful tool here to help increase your positions and so definitely make sure to check that link out underneath the video i will also post a tutorial of how to trade on margix at the end screen thanks so much for watching i hope to see you in the next video